So you're doing a radiator in a 8.1. This is a Suburban, but the trucks are similar. Um, <clears throat> first thing you got to remember is it is the biggest radiator to put in these trucks. So you have to remove the airbox bracket. That bracket. Um, there's a plastic clip here for the AC line, so you pop that. Loosen these two, two 10 millimeters. You don't have to take them off. You just have to loosen them. There's slots in them for removal. Once you do that, you undo your tranny and your oil lines, and you can pull it out. <clears throat> now, the big thing you got to remember when you order these things is Allison, I think, has two different size uh, fittings that go into the radiator. And then you have um, 4L80E, which this is. 4L80E is much smaller. Some of the radiators come with all these adapters, so you got to make sure you get the right one. Um, also, a lot of people, I think this is, I think this is a thing. Yeah, this is. A th so this is a thinner replacement. I know this radiator has been replaced because I'll show you here in a second. Let me see how the core thickness. The tanks are still big, but see the core thickness. Now watch this. This is a factory one I got back here. Where I put it, there it is. See how much thicker the core is. It almost takes up the whole uh, tank. And it won't affect cooling at all. Actually, I think it might actually cool better. I've actually ran a much smaller radiator. Because you got to remember that that is an HD core support, and it takes up the whole support. The 6 l radiators, there's a plastic spacer between the bottom of the radiator and here. But this is a 6 l radiator, and I've ran a, a bunch of 8-1s with it, even towing, with no problem. But <laughs> look how thin that core is. It's like half the tank with so but this is something some people complain oh it's not as big as my last radiator you know i mean not much you can do about it gm doesn't make them anymore trucks have been made in 15 years so and aftermarket doesn't give a crap if you need something but uh that's that's for the radiator removal all i got left is pop the lines off um, in the oil cooler lines. Inside of that, I'm cha actually changing the motor in this, but I wanted to, I've seen it come up before and I figured I would just make a video about it.